Hey everybody, today we're going to be looking at the outliner and grouping, okay? That's, that's going to be very useful for you to organize yourself and keep track of everything in your, ob uh, in your scene. So let's begin by creating um, an object here. I'm actually going to create a tabletop. So let's begin by moving things up and these ugly numbers we're going to fix. There we go. Size these pieces out, I'll make it longer this way. There we go. Okay, I got myself a tabletop. Um, something that's really important is if we look over in the channel box, everything has a name, okay? This thing is named pcube1. So let's go ahead and rename this. It's going to be called tabletop. Um, something you'll notice is I'm using something called camel casing. Camel casing, right? Camel casing is the humps of the letters, basically, uh, because if we try putting something with a space like table top, Maya doesn't like anything with a space. It's really, it, it's not smart enough for that. It's not dynamic. So what it does instead is it creates a little um, underscore. Um, but in the industry, the just basic, what everyone kind of uses, the standard, it's camel casing. There's, so there's no, there's a, there's no underscores for these names. There's no spaces for them. The first word starts lowercase. And every new word, when you want to show us a new word, just starts with a capital. So table, capital, top. So it's really important to name things. I, I know people, I've heard stories, and I, I know actually people that have lost their jobs because they didn't name anything in their scene. And they're like, we can't work with this. You're too much of a disorganized person. You're out of here. There's a cutthroat place out there, OK? <laughs> Let's get ourselves um, a couple more legs up in here. I think this should be uh, five tall, if I believe. Move it over. Uh, you know what? It's 4.5, 2.25, there we go, just trying to be thorough you guys, 4.5, duplicate and put them over here to a negative 4.5. Okay, got myself a clean table, right? But these things aren't named. So we'll go ahead and name these table leg one and table leg two. I could name them all through the channel box, but something that's really important I wanna show you is if we go to window, this menu is basically for opening new things that'll pop on top of everything else. And what we're looking for is the outliner today. So this is really interesting and useful because it's kind of like uh, it's kind of like an outline when you create an outline for um, English class or something. And what it does is it lists every different object. So we can rename them through here too. Table leg two. Table leg. Oops, I didn't camel case. Table leg three and table leg four. All right. So the outliner is really useful. Um, for finding and seeing all the names of things, seeing how they're actually um, connected in terms of like how, what their relationship is. And it helps you clean things up because if I take a look at this cube over here, and let's say that I accidentally scale this down infinitely small, it's got zero scale in every dimension. It, it, it exists but not really in space. It doesn't, ex it doesn't appear to be there, but if I select everything, you'll notice that I'm actually selecting it as well. And in fact, it's, I'll be like, what on earth is it? If things are happening and you don't understand why, it might be because you have things selected that you're not supposed to, right? So PQ1 right here, I found it, and I noticed that there's, it's just a floating speck of nothing. So in my outliner, I can help myself find junk pieces as well. So I'm just going to delete that. All of these things on the table are really related, right? I want to group them. So what I can do is select them all. In fact, I could select them all in the outliner as well and go to edit group. Now the command is a uh, command G. So let's do that. It's much easier for us. Command G for group. 
All right. So what it ends up doing is you'll notice that all of these are selected at the same time. I can move them together and it's perfect. This thing right here, it's kind of interesting. Okay. It's pretty interesting. What Maya does is it creates, and I'll rename this, table group. It creates an extra empty node that all of these belong to. So let's just close out of the outline and see what that means. If I click on any one of these pieces, it's not selecting the table group that I just created. It's actually selecting just that one piece. Um, and let's open up the outliner and see. If I expand this, yeah, I'm only selecting that table top or the table leg. What I need to do instead is to select the group itself. Okay? Uh, and you might be thinking, well, that's kind of annoying. Why create groups if you don't even select them? You have to select the outliner. Well, one, that's why the outliner is really good. And two, there is a way. Okay? If I select any of these pieces and hit up on my keyboard, the up arrow, it selects the next highest hierarchy. All right? So actually, let's create two table groups. Uh, table higher group, right? So I've had, I have nested groups here. I have this table group, this table higher group, and all the pieces inside. So if I select this and then hit up, it's actually going to select the table group. If I hit up again, it's going to select the next higher group, okay? Now, I don't really need that. We can uh, just remove that group. We don't need it, okay? So up will always go up in the hierarchy. Um, there's something else really important, and I don't know if you'll experience it now or later, but uh, sometimes there's something called a double transform. All right, and it doesn't seem to be happening now. I think, I think you should be fine. If you guys experience something really wonky happening with your grouping, let me know. We'll talk about it later, but right now it shouldn't be that much of a problem, okay? So um, just make sure that you group things, uh, you use camel casing, you name it all, and that you check out the outliner. It's super helpful. All right? That's our lesson for today, guys. Outliner, naming things with camel casing, and grouping. See you guys later.